The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome all to another excellent edition of our trading hour. And what do we have going on here? Well, it doesn't matter. What does matter if you're here at this time? The following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. Well, we're up uh, 31 points on the S&P cash, broke through 4,700. Uh, volume is rather tepid for this new high, uh, six and a half billion shares so far, but it's not inconsequential. Uh, most of those are in a handful of NASDAQ stocks, or most of that, and ETFs, very little in the rest. Um, also watching the uh, dollar, the dollar index, the basket of six uh, different uh, Western currencies. 95.82, putting just a little bit of damper on the enthusiasms. I always remember that. The enthusiasms. Wasn't that in... Uh, uh, trying to remember what movie that's in. Eh, I'll think of it. But I, I think it was uh, the, the Untouchables, wasn't it? Where he's playing uh, Scarface. Yeah, just a thought. Uh, well, anyway, putting a little bit of a, a little shade on gold. It's down 15 bucks uh, as we speak. Even crude oil is uh, just at a nickel. In fact, I saw at lunch that uh, uh, we were uh, looking at gas prices that actually ticked down for the first time in about four weeks, at least around here. Uh, they've been about 3.30. I saw 3.15 uh, from yesterday to today. So we must uh, get got a little bit going on there. Uh, anyway, uh, the rest of the market kind of up on fumes. It'll be interesting to see what the close brings, whether everybody turns and runs. Uh, I'd been thinking that Walmart uh, would whiff. Uh, the numbers uh, weren't that bad. The uh, outlook was it's, uh, down about uh, f almost four bucks, down two and a half percent. The homeless despot. Uh, actually was interesting. Uh, Pre-market, it was doing poorly, which was very weird. It's up 21 now, uh, up almost 6%, uh, 392. Um, so we got lows, uh, what, tomorrow? So I would imagine that uh, they're already front-running that now. Um, yeah, almost 5% on it. Uh, the other one, which is going to be probably more detrimental uh, tomorrow and Thursday, is going to be Target. It's up one and a yeah, one point four percent. Not exactly sure why they're going to run that one after Walmart's. Generally, if Walmart doesn't do well, Target does worse. But uh, we shall see in the coming days. Uh, so we've got a little bit of uh, up, a little bit of down. Um, uh, home, uh, homeless despot, uh, the old HD, uh, the Home Depot, a little different out there. It's just, uh, when you look at the uh, internals of the market, just really bad. You got a handful of stocks, uh, really driving uh, the market uh, higher for the indexes, and a lot of stocks, uh, just pulling back on light, if anything, for the volume. Uh, but the usual suspects are, are still there. Uh, as we said uh, over the last week, everybody keeps going after AMD like it's going broke. Um, and piling on it, it's the most hated stock uh, pretty much. Uh, as we said, literally no signal out here that it was turning. You got a little move today. It's just like the rest of the market so far, though. Uh, pretty poor volume. So we'll see that. Uh, more interesting to me is NVIDIA coming up on earnings on Thursday night. 
um, on this one. Let's clean this up here. Uh, just gone sideways. Uh, real light volume today. I don't think this is a really good uh, action by NVIDIA. And as I said yesterday or maybe the day before, I can't remember, uh, these guys uh, kind of threw a little shade on their own stock by saying they didn't have any silver bullet for uh, the uh, uh, for uh, the the uh, supply chain in their case. I don't know if that is them sandbagging a little bit, trying to get people to short the stock. I don't see any reason to be short it, uh, just like AMD. AMD is a little different because literally everybody's shorting it all day long and covering in the afternoons. Uh, but, uh, you know, you had a big push higher. You kind of come out here sideways. Uh, don't see anything that would make you go short. I love the business. Uh, the business is not always the economy or uh, the uh, company. The stock is, uh, the equity is different than that. But uh, a whole lot of nothing here. Uh, for NVIDIA, so you're not getting a real clear uh, indication on that. You can give me a call, 877-927-6648, and we'll look at that. Uh, da -da -da. If Uncle Joe replaces the uh, current Fed share, what market reaction will the 10-year head to the uh, uh, two area or down? I don't think the Fed chairman at this point is going to matter as much as people think. Um, I don't think uh, the, the, after them being there for a couple of years, if they have somebody new come in, uh, which looks like it is, I don't think that they're going to uh, actually bring anybody in that or move them up from where they're at. My guess is that, uh, that yeah, you may get that temporarily, uh, but my guess is the Fed has already made its plans. Anybody that comes in after this is probably going to have to uh, uh, explain why the Fed suddenly diverged. And that generally is uh, not good for the market. So my guess is that for the first six months, uh, they'll go along to get along. Uh, unless it's a, a complete whack job, uh, a complete uh, a, a, a political hack. And I don't think they're going to do that. Uh, I don't think the the uh, House and Senate want to confirm somebody like that either. Um, so, uh, yeah, I think uh, eh, the more you think things are going to change, the more going to be the same. But I think, uh, you know, stronger dollar, some other stuff, uh, gold starting to slip. It's telling you that we're at a fairly uh, uh, stressful place in the market. Um, no, it wouldn't sell gold. But I do think you could get back to, you know, 1825, 1830, something like that. So we'll see uh, how that comes back. Uh, am I right? Yeah. I don't think it's that big of a pullback after the movement. Uh, but, yeah, I think you get another bite at the apple on gold. I think uh, a lot of people worried in China doing anything they can to get something uh uh, tangible, Bitcoin, gold, anything. So we'll be back in a minute. We'll do a little history, and then we'll move on to some charts. Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month. And try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. As we return, it's time for a little bit of history. Oh, Following we already did that. We got to do this. Then it's all just a little bit of history repeating. On this day in 1907, Oklahoma, where the rain or the wind goes something down the plain. It's all I remember of that song. Name derived from Choctaw Indians, word Okla, meaning people, and uh, Huma, meaning red, is a uh, history of human occupation dating back 15,000 years. The first Europeans to visit this uh, region were Spanish explorers in the 16th century. And in the 18th century, the Spanish and French struggled for control of the territory. The United States acquired Oklahoma from France in 1803 as part of the Louisiana Purchase. Uh, the most interesting thing I've seen lately is they changed their laws for pot growers and inadvertently the old uh, uh, unforeseen circumstance uh, have now uh, had every uh, uh, cartel member, uh, mob member. Uh, anybody that uh, wants to commit a crime move uh, to Oklahoma to raise pot. Uh, there is supposed to be a license and some other stuff going on. Uh, out of the 1,500 growers, about 10 people bought a license. And, uh, and very interesting to see the unintended consequences of changing something. Um, inadvertently, they made it uh, incredibly easy uh, for uh, those uh, that uh, do not follow the law uh, to grow there. And, of course, the whole thing was thinking that uh, the easier you made it, uh, the less influence that the mob um, cartels and everything else would actually have. Eh. As my friend's mother used to say, uh, the road to hell is paid with good intentions, as this is now. But uh, they're trying to clean it up. 877-927-6648 uh, as we get into my charts, which we'll get up here now. Uh, to, 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 what else do we have? Go ahead on that. 
I'm pretty sure it's not Powell, somebody that didn't put uh, that. Uh, I, don't, I don't think it's Brainerd either, from what I've read. Like I said, I think it's. I think they end up pulling somebody uh, out, and it just depends on what they're uh, doing uh, to uh, to that. Uh, da, 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 da. What's up with Qualcomm? Um, Qualcomm had another big gap and break out of the previous highs. Uh, volume's pretty good. Um, it's not so big that you're just going to blow out, but you've got a nice move up here to 190 or 179.55. I did not check the news, but I think generally I wait and watch the news later on. Uh, come on. Well, apparently a ton of upgrades on Qualcomm. Okay, apparently they had an investor presentation today. Okay, well, whatever they said made everybody decide to get off the short side of this. Uh, and back out. I'm not exactly sure how many people were short. Let's take a look. But um, yeah, it wasn't as bad as you could think. 18% short yesterday. Um, you had two days to cover, which it, it the, without a lot of short positions now is a kind of a bit high for $170 stock, but not ridiculously high. Generally, I start worrying at five days for big short squeezes, but I think you just have a little bit of that. But uh, yeah, a little build up. Uh, and of course, uh, probably not a bad time for a short squeeze if you're out there uh, trying to gin up some movement in this stock as analysts were today. So I'll take a look at that. Anyway, up uh, 29 on the S&P, 174 on the Dow, NASDAQ up 114. Russell's up uh, two points. Okay, question about Intel. Have I changed my opinion? Uh, they did a lot of things right, and then they did a lot of things wrong. So, you know, theoretically, if you just did it on the chart basis, uh, any tick above this 3-by-3 uh, th three three displaced moving average would say that you could probably go back into it with a stop of uh, 49.90 or something. Um, they are changing. They are doing some things that they need to be done. Uh, but uh, I wouldn't be thinking that they have the big run here in the next week. I think this one's one to, if you're going to buy it, yeah, I think you have to buy it for a year, two years, three years down the line. Um, maybe that changes, but I don't think there's going to be any big move coming out of that. Um, and, of course, uh, we talked about the TLT. Uh, eventually, the TLT does put uh, pressure on the markets. Um, you get a lot of volume kind of at the end of the day. You got a little hammer out here today. But anything below 146.50 is problematic for uh, the equities. Uh, but my belief is that even on light volume, this could get back down to 141. 45 now that it busted 146.50. So I suspect we're going to continue to see pressure on that uh, on that 10 and 20 year bond market um, and even the shorter term stuff. So yeah, I think uh, we're kind of looking at, you know, I wouldn't be surprised that we close back under um 4,700 on the S&P cash today. It just, the volume all cut out at about 4,700. Everybody was happy to buy up to that point, but then it just went higher. You get a close back below 4,700, probably a fairly good indication of uh, a problematic move in the market. 
Um, again, option market makers continue to think they're going to find a giant uh, 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 find giant rat droppings back there behind the counter. And uh, Colin, the exterminator, eh, probably not going to be in time for Friday. I don't know what it is that they're looking for. There were some things that I thought of earlier in the week. None of those really seem to be bearing fruit. Uh, but uh, up till the noon today, option market makers are still incredibly worried of 100 points uh, lower in the S&P before Friday. So when you can, not when you have to, we'll be back in a minute. Having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels. And make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market days. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. And yes, uh, NVIDIA tomorrow night after the close on the 17th. Uh, to, 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 what else did we do? Well, let's just go through them just to make sure. And I will go through what we have. Uh, of course, Walmart and the homeless despot was this morning. After the bell tonight, we've got Lazy Boy. But that's about it. Uh, tomorrow morning, uh, we go back into Target. Uh, let's take a quick look. 
T G T in the morning. You're right back up the previous high. You got some decent volume. They've got a little bit of difference. I've been in there two of their stores here in the last month. Both of them fairly vacant of product. So uh, not looking uh, Christmassy at all. I don't know if that brings up a, a similar issue tomorrow when they talk uh, as Walmart did this morning. Uh, at best, uh, Walmart was flat and then it headed lower. Uh, Baidu has just been going sideways out here. This could be a big move either way. I do not uh, and will not predict which one. Uh, I do think that there's this thing's been building steam for something going on here. Uh, to, to, to maybe that dollar change is an issue. Uh, TJ Maxx. Uh, T X. Also uh, tomorrow morning. Um, been in a trading range for a while. Uh, I don't go into the store other than if I am right next door to it. But uh, also, when I've even just walked by the window, not a lot of stuff in this thing. Uh, Ross stores, kind of the same thing. There's another one that I go by next to a grocery store I go to. These kind of discount uh, co uh, companies... If you're not getting stuff into the new stores, you're not getting stuff into the used stores. So I'll wonder uh, what these guys are going to say. Um, that's kind of the big thing. And then we go to uh, after the bell tomorrow night. As we said, NVIDIA not doing much. Uh, Cisco has been doing well on uh, keeping Huawei out of the market. But this thing's done really nothing but go sideways for the last 10 trading days. So there's not much going on in that. Uh, Copart, uh, let's see what a click, uh, Kulik and Safa. Uh, they make buckyballs, by the way, if you didn't know. The stuff to glue chips to uh, leads and packaging. There's really, uh, for software, there's really kind of three big things. There's design, packaging, and fabrication. And all three of those things are uh, are big money makers if done right. Uh, but they're more on the uh, packaging side of the business, uh, getting things into uh, uh, into those little plastic containers or metal containers or whatever it needs to be, and running little gold filament lines uh, to the chips, uh, that kind of stuff. Uh, so that's kind of it on that. See what we have uh, Thursday morning. T -t -t to uh, Baba, the old Alibaba. Um, again, kind of like uh, the rest of the Chinese market, just going sideways. I'm just wondering if they'd ever actually say anything uh, to, to rock the boat from China. I'm not uh, sure what they're allowed to say as a CEO before they get disappeared. But uh, that's it. Uh, Kohl's, another one of those stores where they've been trying some different stuff. Nothing's really st stuck. Um, huge trading range for a long time in Kohl's. Back up to the previous high, about the same volume. Energy's about the same. So, so far, big trading range. Uh, you know, if uh, Walmart's doing well, hard to see Kohl doing any better. So you're probably actually going to even see uh, Target coming out and give you a little heads up on Kohl's. But everybody is springing the uh, hope eternal. Uh, CSIQ. Um, just been going sideways. Canadian Solar. Um, I had a question earlier about solar roadways. Um, God, what's the uh, transportation dude? Uh, Buttigieg uh, has been, maybe for the last couple of months, somebody asked earlier, and I said I'd answer on the air day, uh, Buttigieg has been pushing solar roadways. Well, they've tried it three times. Um, they've been able to spend almost half a billion dollars to generate maybe $10,000 worth of electricity. Uh, I bring this up from time to time, but if you're going to install solar panels, 
you pretty much uh, at worst need to aim them at the same degree that you're a latitude on. So if you're at 40 degrees, they probably need to be tipped down to 40 degrees. Uh, and more than likely, if you really want to uh, capture all the power, they need to be on a, a, uh, a uh, movement uh, that can actually track the sun through the day. Uh, but anyway, uh, France, uh, Holland, uh, trying to remember the other ones. I think England to some extent. And there's another country that tried the solar roadways. What they found out is everything that they tried to put over them, i.e. plastic, uh, anything that would actually grip tires that cars would drive over, well, there was a little problem. That is, it scuffed it up to the point that power never went through uh, whatever they put on top that was clear. If it was clear enough, it made all the cars slide off the roadways and hurt people. And if it was uh, scuffed up enough, it really uh, meant that the uh, solar cells weren't getting much of any power. Anyway, uh, the three studies, the France one was the biggest, and they spent $200 million uh, to get uh, $3,000 worth of electricity out of it uh, over a year and then promptly ripped it up and said, uh, you know, it don't work. We've got a couple of them here in the United States where people have put half a million dollars into them. You can watch on the uh, on uh, webcams uh, people uh, celebrating them. Of course, uh, yeah, again, $500,000 for $500 worth of electricity or something. Uh, they work, solar arrays work well. But pretty much you've got to have them where uh, you don't need to get on a ladder to uh, use them, that they track the sun, and that you probably have a big enough uh, a bunch of them like they have down here in Tampa uh, that you can at least break even uh, and hire somebody to keep them clean and keep all the motors replaced on the uh, actuators that move them and track the sun, that you have enough sunny days. Um, but, uh, yeah, putting them on your house... Um, well, you're getting your neighbor to pay for it. So I guess there's that part of it. Um, you can feel good about yourself. And you can also uh, know that you paid a huge amount over uh, list price for uh, uh, electricity. Uh, but someone else had to pay for it, so that's okay. I don't mind it if they're big installations and they're well thought out. Putting it on your house, uh, pretty much a loser. We'll be back in a minute. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. 
TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. David about uh, Chipotle and I want to think that it was a week ago maybe 10 days ago uh, that um, the CEO was talking I vaguely remember uh, when it was but uh, he brought up two things and it kind of is a cold blanket on Chipotle uh, so I would wait for a uh, reversal back uh, into this candle of 1740 uh, that is the October 26th low. Uh, this, if I remember right, CEO said paying more for labor and food costs going through the roof. And that it's probably as good as it, I, he didn't say it, but I think some of the analysts said probably as good as it gets. Uh, are earnings going to decrease horribly? No. Um, but is it about as good as it gets? Yes. Uh, looking at paying more than two bucks more an hour for employees. And I think their food costs was looking at going at 10 or 12 percent higher than a year ago. So I think, you know, anybody in this fast food business uh, that's looking at much higher prices, uh, probably going to feel it uh, in one way or the other. But uh, I would want this to retest after yesterday where you uh, had kind of a real move higher gave it all up and came back into the trading range. You're probably headed back down to 13, or excuse me, 1775-ish. Um, ideally, you'd love it to see it pierce 1740 on very light volume and then come back into the trading range. There isn't a lot of short interest in it, uh, so I'm not looking for a lot of short squeezes or anything. Um, but yeah, I think as you get closer to them coming out with uh, more statements. It's all going to be about food cost risings, uh, labor cost rising, and generally these uh, fast food, McDonald's, that kind of stuff, do poorly in that environment. Um, just the chart, though, yesterday is kind of a big signal that it did try to break out, couldn't get through that previous high, didn't have a lot of volume, it, not a lot of volume out here either. But uh, I'd love to see it uh, if you wanted to go long back at 1775-ish and into that candle so at least you'd see what's happening. And I think the whole market is kind of tired right now, even if it isn't a big pullback. We're probably going to get something tomorrow, so we'll take a look at that. 877-927-6648. Thanks, David, for the email. What else do we have going on here? Uh, volume. Yeah, 7.2 billion shares. So, yeah, good, but not great. Probably going to be less than 10 billion shares on the day. Uh, ta -ta -ta. Market kind of just stuck with no volume. Uh, watch for some fast markets at the end. Generally, if you don't have a whole lot of volume between, let's say, 2.30 and 3.15 or something, yeah, it's telling you something. But, uh uh, okay, got a couple more. Da, 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 da. 
Uh, question on WSM. Um, I was short this briefly for about a buck and a half or two bucks on the wrong side of this thing uh, as it was up at the highs. Had no volume. Uh, they changed their uh, earnings to this week, uh, and I didn't catch it till late. But uh, thank God I caught it and got out of it before a big move. They're running this uh, before earnings. That's generally a good sign that meh, if they're not going to be probably a whole lot there um, come earnings. But uh, yeah, nice day. Volume's not that bad. But uh, front running these stocks before earnings, always a little problematic when you get that kind of a breakout on light volume. You're looking for five and a half million shares or so. You're going to have uh, one about million right now. So not good. If these guys miss, watch for a, a big pullback uh, coming back in. Uh, what else do we have here? Uh, question on Apple. Is it broken out? Um, I'm still looking at this as 150 bucks on Friday. I don't see a whole lot going on here. You're up on, eh, okay volume, but nothing brings you out of the trading range. I could see 150 Maybe 152 on Friday, but uh, you're up a buck, 40 million shares. Uh, the push higher had 100 million shares at 152.94. So it gives you a little indication of uh, that. I think a lot of people are kind of, you know, they were pretty happy with Apple, but now that it's quit moving so much, problematic. You see a reversal on that before the end of the day. I think that's a, a big tell. This thing's going, uh, Apple's going nowhere before Friday. Uh, to to, to um, Adobe, A-D-B-E, for Janet. Uh, to, 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 he had a little more volume at the high. You're going to retest that now. Uh, volume isn't all that exciting. Uh, you got 776,000 shares going into the two and a half and 1.6 million share high. So, you know, the biggest problem I have is this, the energy off the October 4th low up to the November 5th high uh, was off by about 25% compared to the energy from September 3rd all the way down to that uh, October 4th low. So you didn't have a lot of energy up there. You did have a nice day uh, with two and a half million shares as you went after the high, you did an inner, uh, instant reversal, almost a railroad track on November 5th. You're coming back up to that, and there isn't a lot of volume. But uh, I do digress. Uh, to, to, to question on Roku. I don't see this doing much of anything uh, either. Um, I've kind of gotten the confirmation that the, a lot of the televisions are sitting on the dock. And with 17 days to... Uh, unload we're getting very close to the point where these things can't make it to the stores before christmas day uh maybe they get there maybe they don't but uh roku was really depending on a big christmas of uh new televisions and maybe people will spend their money on something else before they show up uh but uh yeah it, it was starting to get weak before that um, the only decent thing is you got very light volume at that 272.41 that had 10 million shares. Uh, you come back and test it fairly lightly. Uh, maybe this is a, a deep and up retracement, but man, you're almost 50% off the highs. So this isn't a little bit of a haircut. You went to 490.76 down to 268. Um, as I said, this one's very hard for me because I've never really understood how they make money. And if I don't, it's very hard for me to handicap them. You just look at the chart. I like to have at least a little fundamental uh, underpinnings. But uh, on a chart basis, you've uh, certainly got very light volume. What I dislike is that you've had five days of very light volume and it hadn't bounced yet. 877-927-6648. You've got a couple minutes to call. Uh, the end of the show.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN. Also, a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. As we return... ASML, as we talked about this one before, uh, a virtual monopoly in the printing of uh, circuits in, in uh, chips. Uh, nobody else really touching them. Intel's got kind of a, uh, a competitor to it. I don't know how far they are behind, but I'm going to assume several years. So uh, ASML... The only thing I've got to say about this one is uh, from the uh, 907 up here, the energy's off about a third. Uh, but a lot of stocks are like that. Um, doesn't mean it can't retest the high. But uh, I'm unenamored uh, by the energy at least shown on the power law vector indicator off that low. Um, you know, you got, what, another 30 bucks? I'd say, you know, better than 50 50 you retest the high uh but my my question would be you know do you pull back to 800 first and there isn't a whole lot here volume or energy and uh i'd watch today and tomorrow i think you've got that uh, in fact uh, the bigger thing i think uh is going to be when i get up to tomorrow morning which is normally around uh anywhere from when i wake up even though I don't want to, at 4.30 to 6 o'clock in the morning sometimes. I think the latest I've been able to sleep without why, or just waking up 
wide awake is about 6.30. Uh, but, uh, you know, you've got a uh, got a TLT and you want to watch that first thing in the morning. You see 144s. I think we could have a fairly uh, uh, steep pullback in this market because we get a pull. I wouldn't do anything until you wake up. But you see 144s in the TLT in the morning. I think that may tell you that we're headed to 141 very quickly. Uh, in that TLT and in the bond market. So keep an eye on that. You've got a few things and hints and gold starting to pull back. Dollar going higher. And bear standing up on the back. So when you can, not when you have to, we'll see you here tomorrow.